What's up everyone? It's Alpha Wolf with Wolfpack Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the upcoming update for Marvel's Avengers. Update 1.5 will be releasing with Hawkeye's Future Imperfect Operation on March 18th, in just over a week. It'll also include some highly requested and anticipated features that the community has really been looking for. Um, seems like Maybe they're they're trying hard to listen to us. I know that there's been some controversy about some changes they've been making, especially with the uh, new XP changes, which I haven't covered yet, but I will probably get around to making a video on that as well. But uh, I'm just going to make this video short and to the point, simply showcasing the various changes coming with the update. So I've got an image on screen here that you can see... Uh, Crystal Dynamics released it to showcase the big changes coming in the next update. To begin with, we'll obviously see the release of the new hero Hawkeye and his story. On top of that, we'll be getting the new villain Maestro and the new Desert Biome. There was also a previous leak about MODOK becoming a villain sector, and during the recent developer live stream, a member of the Crystal Dynamics public relations team did hint at the fact that we haven't seen the last of MODOK, so I'm hoping that they'll also release this villain sector with the update as well, but none of that's been confirmed. Um, as far as other confirmed features, though, we'll also finally be getting a new game plus, or in other words, the ability to replay the entire campaign with our current heroes at their current level with all enemies scaling up. Uh, for individuals who have the next-gen consoles, we'll also get the release of the next-gen game improvements as far as better load times, uh, save transfers, and other next-gen features. Although, one of the most anticipated features coming is the custom harm room, which will allow you to customize the harm room with options like which enemies you want, modifiers, and Crystal Dynamics has even made comments about there being whole new environments for it as well, like being able to customize uh, the area you're, you're training in. Uh, the developers released a trailer to show off the custom harm room capabilities and just what exactly was possible with it, so let's run that clip now and take a look. Alright, and that's what we know on the uh, custom harm room so far, and the uh, update 1.5 coming with uh, Hawkeye's operation. Honestly, I haven't been very excited for this game lately, but this has gotten me pretty hyped up. It's not a huge turnaround for the game, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. I'm excited to see how well the changes work, if it brings more of a player base back to the game, and what this means for the future of Marvel's Avengers. Comment below and let me know what you're most excited for and if this is going to get you back into the game even for a little bit. I'd like to know how the rest of the community feels about all these changes and new features. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and feel free to subscribe for more Marvel's Avengers content. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, everyone.